Microsoft is working on Windows Subsystem for Android on Windows 11, and you've probably heard of it. But if you are not an insider and living in US, you can't actually try it out just yet. Well, not officially anyways. I will show you how to install it and how to run Android apps on any Windows 11 PC without Windows Insider and from anywhere in the world. First thing you need to do is to activate the Virtual Machine Platform feature for Windows. After it is installed, just restart the PC for the service to activate itself. Using Microsoft Edge, openstore.rg-adguard.net. The product ID of the Windows subsystem for Android app is 9P3395VX91NR, so you have to put the same in the search box after selecting product ID from the first drop-down menu. Next, select the channel as slow from the second drop-down menu. Locate the largest file from the list. It should be a MSIX bundle sized a little over one gigabyte and download the file by clicking on its name. You might get a message saying that the download is blocked, so just opt to keep the file. Open Windows Terminal as Administrator and start a PowerShell instance. To do so, right-click on the Start button and select Windows Terminal Admin. Execute the following command to install the MSIX bundle you downloaded. Add hyphen X package hyphen path full path of your newly downloaded file. If everything goes right, then the package will be deployed and you'll see a new icon in your start menu. Click on it and it will open the settings screen. Scroll down and enable the developer mode toggle. The Android layer binds itself to a random IP from the 172.30 private network, which can be seen under the IP address field.
As soon as you install the Windows subsystem for Android package, you should see the Amazon App Store show up in your start menu. The shortcut points to the Android app variant of the store, and it lets you log in using your Amazon account credentials. The Amazon App Store is able to install the apps that are curated by Microsoft and Amazon, regardless of your region, but for some regions the list is limited to just a few apps and games. The newly installed apps will show up in your start menu. Since we do not have access to the dedicated Google Play Store, thanks to the open source Aurora Store client, we can easily do so without messing up with the Play services and the associated proprietary Google apps. You can download the APK from AuroraOSS.com. To install it, start the Windows subsystem for Android environment from the start menu. We can install it through ADB. If you don't know how to use ADB, we have another dedicated video for that on the channel. Go through the configuration wizard and choose your login method. You can either log in anonymously or use your personal Google account to sign in so that you can sync your app library. You have plenty of apps to choose from. Google services are not available though.
Some apps work better than others, so even though this isn't an ideal solution yet, at least it is a way to access your Android apps from your Windows PC without the need to install a third-party emulator. We hope you enjoyed our video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and share the video with your friends. Let us know what you think in the comment section below. See you next time.